Hi everyone, last time we built an interesting robotic joint, this one, and today we're going to test this actuator. So let's get started. I have actuator over here and uh, what I did from last time, I disassembled the belt and also the idler. Like this my motor can rotate freely. Also, I'm going to use this electronics. This electronics I built in one of my previous video about O-Drive uh, controller. This is O-Drive controller. I connected this electronics to the motor and to the encoder. And also this electronics connected to my Raspberry Pi. And uh, like this, I can program O-Drive to use it with uh, this uh, robotic actuator. And also I have my notes with all the commands which we are gonna need today. I just switched on the power supply of the O-Drive and uh, now I can uh, program it. So for this I need a terminal on my Raspberry Pi. And first of all, I need to launch the O-Drive tool. The next step that I will check the O-Drive is connected by checking the voltage on the O-Drive. The next we're going to calibrate the motor. There is a high pitch sound from the motor. This means that calibration is OK. We can check that calibration is OK with the command uh, motor point is calibrated. It shows true, it's calibrated. I, I can check for the possible errors with this command. No errors, this is perfect. Now I need to change the uh, number of poles on the motors. Because the motor have uh, seven poles. But as I have the reduction ratio of 3 between motor and encoder, I should say to the O-Drive that I have 7 times 3 poles, 21 poles. And like this, uh, O-Drive will think that motor, that encoder is connected directly to the motor, but with a higher number of poles. So this is a command. Okay, this is perfect. And now I can do encoder offset calibration. Now, motor rotates in one direction and afterwards in another direction. Cool. Check for errors. No errors. So far is good. Now I will use the, the index on the encoder. And now I can do the index search. And it rotates the motor till it finds the index. Nice. Check for errors. No errors. This is good. Now I should uh, tell uh, the O-Drive that the motor is pre-calibrated and then the encoder is pre-calibrated. -ca pre so for this I need to put these two variables to the true state. And now let's save this configuration. And after the save I need to do the reboot. So uh, now I just need to do the index search. Okay, apparently it's done. And now I can go to the closed loop and check that everything is works. Closed loop control. Okay, the motor holds. This is a good sign. Now it's difficult to turn it. And now we can move it to another position. So let's set position to the 10,000. Moves. Nice. Set position to zero. It should go back. It's coming back. Perfect. So now I can reinstall the belt and see and check that everything is still working. 
to switch off that O drive, I need to disconnect O drive tool. This is just exit. This is done. And I can switch it off. Now when the O drive is calibrated for this motor and this encoder, let, let's reinstall us the belt. Seems like it works. So let's test it. So let's switch on the O drive. Now let's start the program. Let's start the terminal. O drive tool. Now I need to do the index search. Oh, the first move. Nice. Let's check for errors. No errors. Good. And now closed loop control. And now we're in closed loop control. So the motor resists. Can hardly turn it. And uh, I should say that I st still did not put the right current value for this motor. So now it's like low value of the current. But let's see how it works with this low value. So let's put the set point to the 10,000. Oh, nice. Zero. Cool. Let me see. Okay, let's do not 10,000, but uh, like, uh, hmm. let's go to zero. And let's do 50,000. No. Oh. Uh, hundred thousand. Hoo -hoo. Come back. Nice. I just already printed this support for this actuator, so let's install it. So it goes something like like this. Yeah. From my previous O drive video, I don't have only this electronics, I also have this kind of support. This is a aluminum beam. I can put it here, clump it down. Okay, now it's quite stable. So now the close view on how it works. Set point zero. Set point ten thousand. Mm, set point zero. Set point hundred thousand. Set point zero again. Velocity limit 50,000. Set point 10,000. Set point zero. Set point 10,000. Set point zero. Nice. And now the small test with the tape. And I can see the part of this tape from the back. Set, set point uh, 10,000. Set point zero. Okay, tape comes back. Set point 10,000. 
set point zero. Tape exactly the same place. Now velocity limit hundred thousand. Set point ten thousand. Set point zero. Set point hundred thousand. Set point zero. Cool. Motor is still cold. A drive is cold. Nice. Great. As a next step, I would like to mount this arm to the output shaft of this actuator. Like this, when this arm is mounted, I can measure if we have any play inside this bearing. And also we can try to measure the output torque of this actuator. To mount this arm, I 3D printed this adapter, which goes here. And afterwards, the arm is attached to this adapter. Now, when uh, this arm is long enough, I can try to see if there is any play in the bearing. There is, of course, a flex in the entire system, especially because this part is 3D printed. And I think the most flex is coming from the support and not even from the actuator. But I don't feel any play. This is good. And here just some moves just for fun. Let's increase speed a little bit more to the 50,000. Motor still cold. Fuck. Shit. This is strong. Nice. And now I have a brilliant idea. So I'm gonna take this rope, attach it to the end of this arm. To the other end of the rope, we're gonna attach this bag. And inside this bag, we're gonna put a one kilo of potato and see how it works. Now let's switch it on. Let's start O drive tool. Current limit 50 amps. So one kilogram of load. Let's move it down. It works. Let's move it up. Now let's increase our load with these uh, two packets of rice. Each packet is 500 grams. So this is gonna be one more kilogram. This becomes heavy. No, it cannot hold it. Two kilogram is too much. Yeah, I should say that the torque a little bit disappointed. 
I was expecting at least uh, two times higher torque than this one. So, what is the problem? Why we have a very low torque? So, the torque which we measured is uh, higher than 0.3 kg per meter. And with the reduction ratio of 15, the theoretical torque from this actuator should be around 1.5 kg per meter. It took me some time to understand uh, where is the problem, but the problem is quite obvious. And the problem is in my power supply. My power supply can provide maximum 400 watts of power and this motor it needs 1200 watts power. So my power supply just not powerful enough to provide enough current for this motor and for this actuator. In the next video I will try to use the proper power supply. The power supply which can get 50 amps or even more. And like this we can test if uh, our actuator can give uh, a maximum of the torque around 1.5 kilogram per meter or if it's gonna be lower. So if you're new to my channel in order not to miss this next interesting video please consider to subscribe to my channel. Also uh, I would like to say a huge thank you to my Patreons. Here are their names. Thanks to them I was able to build this project and thanks to them I will build more projects in the future. If you would like to support my channel Please consider to become my Patreon or support me via PayPal. All the links in the description to this video. See you next time.